Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another one of my top tweaks videos. Again, just like my previous videos, all the tweaks featured in today's video, and there are 11 of them. They are all brand new and or have been updated within this last week to support the iOS 11.3.1 Electra Jailbreak. So again, I hope you guys enjoy this list, and if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want more videos just like this one, and of course, check out the link down below to an article on Best Tech Info for all these tweaks listed out with their repositories so you guys can easily get on your way to installing these tweaks. So without further ado, let's get directly into today's video. All right, so the first tweak I have for today's video is called Duo. Now this one just adds a second page to your control center. So this one is combined with better CC11 to give these three platters right here. Now this tweak I covered in last week's video that essentially makes your connectivity platter as well as your music controls uh, just a little bit bigger and elongated and just changes the size of the platters themselves, but it also adds this really nice weather widget. Well, I really liked the look of these three and just wanted that simply on one page. And now with Duo, I can have all my extra clutter on the second page so I can keep this one really nice and simplistic and have everything else right here. So if I just head into the settings pane real fast, you can easily select which connectivity modules and platters that you want for your second page. Again, you assign the original first page connectivity platters just through the control center settings pane like you normally would. And then the duo settings pane is for everything on the second page. All right, and the second thing you might notice about my control center is that my status bar is hidden and there's no grabber here at the top. Well, this is achieved by no CC blur 11. You can enable or disable multiple elements. You can even have a transparent background over your control center if you want. That's just one option within the tweak. So better CC 11 combined with duo combined with no CC blur 11. All three of these tweaks make for a really nice and simplistic look for your control center. All right. So the next one I want to talk about is called dock in switchers. So if I just simply swipe up, and go into the multitasking pane. As you guys can see, my dock appears here right at the bottom for me to quickly change to another app or just exit to the home screen. So that one's really nice to have your dock in your multitasking pane. All right, so the next one I wanna talk about is called Palette. So if I simply swipe down to show you guys some of my notifications, now this one's just like color banners too. It's going to colorize your notifications right here based on the application color. As you guys can see, YouTube's red, the background of the Twitter notification is blue and the background of the IMDB notification is yellow. So that's all handy dandy and the same as color banners too. Now where this tweak excels over the previous one is with the amount of customization you have within the settings pane. Also as an added bonus, if we simply swipe over to our widgets pane, the widgets are also colorized in the exact same manner. So even when we're on the home screen, if we scroll over, all of our widgets look really sweet and nice and colorized based on, again, the application color. So like I said, where this tweak excels is within the settings pane with all the options that you have. So I quickly wanted to go over and show you guys this. Basically, if you select the widget, you can select the main color alpha, you can use a gradient or not, you can control a ton of settings that you just otherwise couldn't with color banners too, and that didn't even include widgets. But again, when we go into banners, you can do the same exact customization. I just like how much control you have over all the settings with this tweak. All right, so the next one I think is just absolutely phenomenal that they managed to make this into a tweak for your iPhones. This one is called Hue Widget, and it's this little guy right here at the bottom of your lock screen. It allows you to control certain hue lights within your hue system to toggle them on or off. Now there isn't really too many settings to customize. It's simply an on and off toggle, but it's just amazing to me that someone was able to create a widget that controls the Hue ecosystem. Anyway guys, within the settings pane, this one is dependent on Zen HTML to actually enable it on your lock screen. And essentially you can just pick which lights you want the widget to control. Now this one can be placed on your lock screen or on your home screen, whichever one you want, and you can choose which lights to control. Right now, as you guys can see, I have it just set up to control my studio lights. Anyway, again, that one's called Hue Widget. And while we're on the lock screen of this device, as you guys can see, I have this awesome fish background and you guys might notice this from iOS 9 and 10. Well, this tweak called Live Fish essentially brings back these live wallpapers to iOS 11 
and then lets you play them on your lock screen or home screen. Again, if I go into the settings app here, choose a new wallpaper, and then navigate to the live section. As you guys can see, all of the live fish wallpapers are now back within iOS 11. All right, so the next one I'm gonna talk about is called Cellular Usage Order 11. So if I go into the settings pane, navigate to Cellular, if I scroll down here, as you guys can see, all of the apps are now organized by how much data they have used over my cellular network. And if you guys want to see in contrast, if you just click on current period, typically they're organized alphabetically, and you really have no idea which app is taking up the most data or is using the most data during your current period. Well, if you click on that again, as you guys can see, it looks like Plex, Reddit, Spotify, and Instagram are my top four that are using a ton of data while I'm on the go. Anyway guys, that one is called Cellular Usage Order 11, and I think it's really awesome just to keep a running list of how much data each one of your apps are using over your cellular network. Alright, well while we're on the topic of cell usage, the next one I want to talk about is centered around the phone app. It's called Ask Before Calling to 11. So if I just dial, say, the customer support number, if I go to call this, it's going to come up with this prompt saying, are you sure you want to call? And you can click yes or click cancel. So this one's great because you can not only use it in the phone app, but you can use it within the mail app as well as the message app and a bunch of other apps as well to prompt you before sending a message, making a call or sending an email, things like that. So in theory, this one will help you avoid accidental calling or pocket dialing when you're on the go. It's going to prompt you before you can actually make a call. And so hopefully if you don't mean to make a call, you won't be, uh, or if you want to, you can simply click yes. So again, that one is called Ask Before Calling to 11. All right, so the next one I want to talk about is called Volume Control 11, and it's an awesome one for the music and Spotify applications. Now, it allows you to use your volume rocker buttons to skip to the next song or revert to the previous playing song. So a simple command of pressing the volume up button, then the down button, reverts back to the previous playing song and again the opposite of down up skips to the next song that is in your queue anyway guys that one is called volume control 11 all right and like i promised the last one that i wanted to talk about is an awesome one there's actually two included in this list one being the major one that is brand new and one being updated for the ios 11.3.1 jailbreak now the first one i wanted to talk about is called bubbles now this lets you fully customize your messages app, allowing you to change the message bubble backgrounds, whether they are outlined or not, changing the UI elements here at the top to red or whatever color you want. Again, changing the background color of the entire app. Right now I have this nice dark theme going on. If I revert back to the message thread, as you guys can see, it's kind of hard to see with my current theme, but there's actually bubbles around each conversation. Again, you can change the navigation bar, the background, It'll make more sense when I go into the settings app, so real quickly I'm going to navigate into that. So again, the tweak is called Bubbles. It originally comes with a dark and light theme to get you started off, and then you can further customize almost every element of the Messages app, from what the message bubbles look like, to the navigation bar, colors, to setting an image in the background right here. Um, there's just a bunch of stuff that you can do and make your Messages app feel like your own and make it very personalized to how you like your setup. So again, all this was achieved with one tweak. Now the very last one, the Bubbles one was my favorite one by far. This next one is one that I wanted to update you guys. It has now been updated for iOS 11.3.1 .1, and it is called Send Delay. So typically when you send your message right here, it will just immediately send. Well with Send Delay, it's going to wait a couple seconds before sending the message, so you have time to cancel it if you don't mean to send it in the first place. Anyway guys, that just about wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this is my top 11 tweaks list that have come out within this last week and or been updated to support 11.3.1. .1. Let me know down in the comment section which tweak was your favorite from today's video. Again, my two favorites were Bubbles for the customization within your Messages app and Duo, which adds the second page to the control center. Again, don't forget all of the tweaks that we covered in today's video are listed out with the repositories on our Best Tech Info website. There's an entire article dedicated directly for this video, so you guys can easily find all the sources needed to get you on your way to installing these tweaks. Again, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please let me know with a huge thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, let me know down below. And of course, subscribe to stay updated on when they're released.
Anyway guys, I don't do this in too many of my videos, but if you guys have time, I'd highly recommend to check out my latest 2018 iPhone rumors video. I spent a lot of time on it, and there's a pretty awesome concept design, and of course, I update you on the latest 2018 iPhone rumors that are out there to date. Anyway, if you have time, check that out. It's a pretty sweet video, but until next time guys, this is Tony, signing out.